you've done that for yourself really proud of you yeah so yeah. that's going great and other than that okay good afternoon lali ma'am good afternoon how are you doing i'm doing stunning that's great to know that's good to know <laughs> anything good that happened today yes i am talking to you it's good <laughs> <laughs> you have definitely done this a lot nice i am not surprised this is your 232nd session so by now you must have got used to things right yeah so, sure. <laughs> yeah no wonder no wonder good that's that's good to know so mm. tell me deepak how do you want the session to be do you want to have a casual conversation introduce yourself to me or just go with the session that's in Prepared. We are meeting for the first time. Okay, so let's have casual conversation. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me something interesting about yourself. Interesting is I'm a fitness coach, and uh, I I think I mm, I'm a fitness. I make people you know healthy, active, stronger, more flexible. So this is mm -hmm. interesting in me. This is the interesting skill that I provide to my clients. that's amazing and i have a feeling that we should stay far away from each other cuz i am the opposite of what you are oh <laughs> I, so i have to like stay far far away right but otherwise tell me anything more like yeah um apart from this i you mean know, i don't think uh, the way i carry myself the way mm -hmm. i think uh, most of the people perceive me that you are monotonous mm -hmm. i i try to stay disciplined i try to not get too much entertainment i try to spend my time with myself i stay alone i don't have many friends i don't eat like most of the people eat food like you know so too much oil too much salt too mm -hmm. much you know spicy and people say deepak in such a young is how come you become like that you know mm -hmm. right. so that's what i am <laughs> but as long as you're enjoying yourself and having the best time i don't really think you should care about other people's opinion right true, so true, you're doing true. the best and i have a feeling others are just jealous of you because you're living your best life and you don't really need people's you know acceptance like there are a lot of people out there if others don't accept me i feel bothered and like oh god they have not accepted me into their gang and stuff that, that is making me feel so bad that might even lead people to a different kind of depression for all you know but you are living your best life right everything's happening for you and they can't stand it so they're like oh you know what we'll try to make him feel bad so i guess that's what's happening with you but <laughs> yeah, yeah right. true, true, true. And that is why I don't have, you know, many association this day. You know, I don't have on on my holiday I spend at home. You no, know? my home is my spiritual place. I love spending my home. I don't go to you know meet with friends. I even I don't have friends. I don't. So I don't go. Don't go outside to you know roam or get entertainment something like that. Wow. So you are telling me you are a fitness trainer. Yeah. Right. so you get people who come to you for training yes and are you in good terms with them or are you friendly or are you a strict person like how no. are you <laughs> i am very friendly with them you know even you can't imagine but till the time i'm with them you know i'm friendly but once i disconnected i'm with myself because if i am not friendly with them you know they maybe they can't take service from me so mm -hmm. i try to enjoy with them but as we keep it professional simultaneously i will try to you know uh, keep myself the way i am right that's that's amazing like if you know how to keep the distance like in a professional and personal life personal you're good life. to go many people don't know how to do that so congratulations <laughs> you have you have obviously like most people are not able to do that you have done that for yourself really proud of you Yeah, so that's going great. And other than that, any other hobbies? And then my clients are totally opposite. You know, they do every weekend party. They go to here club here. They are they live their life on fullest you know potential. So they enjoy as much as they can, mm -hmm. but I don't. So yeah, <laughs> that's what how I try to manage my schedule. My day. 
attitude or behavior whatever you say that's that's amazing and and what about your family like they're all good with the person that you are they're happy that you don't go out much your parents i think i am from you know rural background you know right. uh, 10 years back i came to delhi to make a living and they do not know abcd about the you know entertainment or this that whatever you are doing that is so they don't know anything That's but amazing. yeah i am i i am devoting most of the time in you know reading scriptures in god you know so they say deepak why you are becoming you know a devotee in young <laughs> age why you are right. this way you must uh, they also say you must enjoy you must wear clothes like you know modern uh, these mm-hmm. the people wear uh, this that but <laughs> they say they are also i am different from uh, unique in my family also okay okay so were you inspired by something or somebody or did it just happen all of a sudden no i am inspired by somebody yeah okay. i i i read these all books and these books inspired me because mm-hmm. i have goals i have dream in my life so i if i you do don't not mind want... sharing if you don't mind sharing <laughs> what your goals or dreams are i'm here to listen <laughs> if you have a problem then okay fine we can no, get no, to no, I, I, i i can give you you know overview that you know everybody on this planet to do something to make an impact that right? you are not here you know, accidentally mm-hmm. god has sent us with a purpose and sure. if you are not fulfilling that purpose you are wasting your time you are disappointing god mm-hmm. true uh, and uh, uh, and we must try to devote our most of the time to do that task to do that act so that's right. what and uh, at the end of the day i want to make i want to be inspiration i want to be example of how you can be hero from zero mm and and you don't need anybody you know uh, approval or your government your parents or your school your boss whoever you can true. be what you want to be true true that's what i want to be <laughs> okay but then again about your goals is there something that you want to achieve like somewhere you want to go or yeah. yeah yeah i i my goal is be a financially free uh, generate multiple source of income right. right all right okay so that i can because i have seen hard time in my life i am from destitute i was when i was in uh, early 10 uh, we were not financially strong our parents right. were but, but now we are, i have three siblings and we are now making money Mm-hmm. and we are good in now financially good but i want to see that as hard time i have seen i also want to see as good time as i can mm-hmm. so i want to make those plans of you know that's financial. amazing yeah there are people who say that the rich becomes richer and they don't understand the value of money at all because they have not seen hard times but i think it's different it's the ones who have had hard times who know the value of not having money only they can actually value money we have seen that so we know what that's like that is so true with what you said and, and and i believe that uh, don't give a beggar food if you mm-hmm. give him a food you will feed him for a day but if you exactly. teach him how to generate food you will feed him for his life lifetime yeah true so they need inspiration they don't need food you try right. to inspire them okay inspire them how they can be you know a hero of mm-hmm. their life or winner of their life hmm. has a uh, can you recall such an incident where you did that with a beggar like uh, what what sentence you know like you know uh, where you when somebody came and asked you for money or for food and uh-huh. you inspired them in a different way yeah. do you have an instance like that instance yes uh, i have i have seen this video uh, books the story and these books all written by authors they are already written 40 books 50 books and they are well known person not in right. their country worldwide right. and they were homeless mm-hmm. in the beginning of their life and now they are mm-hmm. multimillionaires they have every facility of the world 
they are traveling here they are they are spying millions of people throughout the year mm -hmm. nice. i am learning from them and you no know, uh, my society know who deepak was you know 10 years back 15 years back and who his family was if i will 5 years from now 10 years from if i will be you know a million year billion year mm -hmm. they will buy from me Oh, 20 years back, 25 years back, Deepak was destitute. Okay, they had mm -hmm. no money to pay, to pay the fee of his class, mm -hmm. but now he has everything. Huh? So people mm -hmm. will inspire, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone can be. Right. So if you don't mind giving me a gist about your journey, how hard did you work? Did you focus on education or did you go apart and you know, become street smart? There are some people who just became smart with studying and they didn't mm -hmm. do any work per se, right? And they became intellectually smart and went on to study in college. And from there, they became a teacher and things like that happened. But what was your story like? How did you become like from rags to riches story? Like how, what is your rags to riches story? My story is, you know, uh, when I discovered myself, I, when I read scriptures, when I listen to, you know, uh, lecture of authors and uh, the motivational speaker and they all and then i got to know yes really you know first of all everybody has a gift god has given everybody a single gift or two uh, two or three gifts or multiple gifts you have to discover those gifts what you can do better than most of the people right and you have to find out the way how you can make money by serving that gift to other people mm. And if you serve that gift to your clients uh, that more, better than everybody, mm. then you will attract the things you want in your life. You will attract clients, you will attract money, you will attract promotion, you will attract happiness. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So there is the author Jim Rohn, he is no more now. He used to say, success is not you that you can pursue. Success mm. is not that you can pursue, you can attract by becoming an attractive person. Right, yeah. Right. Cool. If, if, if I will give you, you know, uh, all the money of the world and you don't mm -hmm. have knowledge how to handle it, how to manage it, how to spend it, how to, you know, how to invest it. Mm. 10 years or 15 years or 20 years from now, it will all go back to the same place where it came from. Mm. True. Right. So that's what we need to, we, we don't run behind money. We need, we must be, become. The best reward of our life is not what we get. The reward, mm. the best reward of our life is, is what we become. Oh, right. I thought you were going to say the best reward of life is what you give, not what you get, but it's like what you become. What that's, you become. That's interesting. Yeah, true. I'm learning a lot from you, Deepak, honestly. Right? <laughs> I mean, is your dream like to be in one of those TED Talks? Like, I think you can be one. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Maybe. You should try. Yes. You can definitely go there because I think you have a great art of storytelling where you can <laughs> tell people. Now, yes, um, you are here for a reason. I understand, like, what brought you to Clappingo, by the way? Uh, I, I, I want to learn communication. I want to connect with people. You know, I, I want to share my story. I want to learn from you people. You know, right. Because uh, for past many days, when I learned how to communicate, I feel so, you know, glad that, okay, mm -hmm. connecting with, you know, I don't know you, you don't know me. Right. I'm sharing your your own story. I'm sharing my own story. When you say, oh, Deepak was a good student. He's different from most of the people. <laughs> yeah? right. and you are, yeah. but, so that's uh, somewhere you are living an impact. Right. True, true. That is that is really good. I like how you know you don't like connecting with people in real life. But once you come here, I think, I don't know how many people have seen this face of yours where you really want to connect with people and get to know them. Because in real life, when you go out there, you're like, yeah, I'll do my work and then I'll go back home because I don't want interacting with people. 
right? Now that is great. Everyone has their own ways of living, right? Yeah, Good. Sure. Now, just one thing here. I think the way uh, I teach or I say things is a little different. There are tutors out there who focus a lot on grammatical mistakes, right? And uh, how sentence construction is important. I focus a little bit more on fluency and confidence, right? Okay, because I used to be an English teacher in school. Okay. I realized while I was teaching grammar with my students, somehow they managed to learn the concepts, right? And they applied it while they wrote and their writing skills kind of improved. But the moment I asked them to speak or had a speaking assignment, they were either absent or during my period, they were suddenly sick. Ma'am, headache, oh stomach God. pain, and they would go. And I'm like, okay, okay, I understand. Speaking is not something we train in school. Somehow after 12th, you're like, oh God, I don't know how to speak. I know how to write, but I don't know how to speak. What do I do about it? So then I'm like, okay, I kind of almost left school. I stopped teaching grammar. Like grammar is not in me anymore. I'm like, focus a lot more on fluency and confidence. That's all we need when it comes to language. Like if I ask about your mother tongue language, I don't know how many people can say that they're perfect in their mother tongue language. How about you? Are you perfect in that language? Do yes, you say I'm, all the words right? Are you sure yes, about yourself? I'm perfect. Yes, I'm perfect in mother tongue. Okay. Because I, no. I, I born in Gautam in my hometown. So I'm excellent in speaking Bhojpuri. Speaking, writing, grammatically, all of those? We don't write Bhojpuri, we write Hindi, but um, I only we speak uh, Bhojpuri, we don't write. Right. Now, again, the same thing applies. Sometimes most people I've spoken to, they're like, they're not, they're not sure about the mother tongue language either, completely well, you know, to speak like in the should way, they don't know how to do that. I'm like, then why do you stress out when it comes to English, when it is not our mother tongue language? I know a lot of people who work outside, who are in the States, who are native speakers, they don't know how to speak grammatically well. The only things they have, fluency, confidence, a little polish and an accent. That's all they have, right? And we think they're amazing. They speak really well. That's not the case, right? Yeah. So here, why do we have to look, oh, I can't say this because uh, I'm grammatically wrong. Uh, I use a lot of fillers. Uh, I can't. Let's stop doing that. Like be, you know, be sure about yourself. It's fine. We make mistakes. We are humans. We are bound to make mistakes. It's fine. Sure, sure. Right? So that being the case, I think the only thing you will have to work on from now on would be pronunciation. Sure. Forget all the other things that we work on, right? Uh, do you know this thing called tongue twisters? Tongue twisters. Yeah, I know. You've heard those? Have yeah. you tried practicing with them? Yeah, I have tried... Uh few times, but you know, I feel bored <laughs> than I speak. <laughs> no, that is true. But then when we know for a fact that that is what is going to help us, uh, for example, the sixth sick shake, sixth sheep sick. That is okay. a tongue twister, right? And then I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet, I sit. These are all tongue twisters, right? Before every clause or anything that I have, I do warm up exercises like you do for the body, I do for the tongue uh -huh. because I know that they help me there. Right? When it comes to pronunciation, that is something like there was a which part of India do you think I'm from? Uh, you're from, uh, yeah, uh, I think you're from Maharashtra. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> I, by gesture. I think by um, what, what just uh, yeah I can say uh, the way you are like that, right. I'm you actually from? from I'm from the south I'm from Kerala uh, <laughs> right so but, uh, there was are, a time your uh, no accent is great excellent <laughs> no yeah, that was something me. again I worked on right now from the time I was a kid every time I spoke people were like you're a South Indian right and I was like yeah now I love being a South Indian. I love being a Malu, but the fact uh -huh. that people would point me out that you are from South because of the way I spoke, that I didn't like. So I started working on my pronunciation, right? Oh. I started trying to be fluent. I started working on all my you know, problems, little twitches, little polish here and there. Mm -hmm. Tongue twister helped me a lot. 
Okay. Okay. Right. So I, hmm. I kept practicing that. I had problems with uh, words with W sound. It is like uh, I used to say water, why, where. You know, that's the typical way South Indians say sometimes. Mm. And I'm like, no, that is rounded. English by default is a rounded subject. So it's water, where, why, when, uh, 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 that that thing should come out. Uh, I understood that, and then worked on those. Right? We are Indians. We have a strong mother tongue influence. It is bound yes. to happen. Right? Now, how we get out of that? That depends on us. Like what we become. That's what really matters. Right? At the end of the day, like how you said. So that is true. Yeah. What we become at the end of the day is what matters. So mm. now I'm a proud Malayali. but without a malayali accent right okay. so i have made my accent a neutral indian accent so people will say i'm an indian by the way mm-hmm. i speak but they will not be able to understand from which part of india i am from that's yes. kind of why i asked you like yeah, you know, know. <laughs> mm-hmm. right so that being the case just a little polish on your uh, pronunciations here and there and believe me deepak mm-hmm. you'd be good to go In fact, I wish a time would come when I see you in a TED talk. Oh, <laughs> no, honestly, I do wish that for you. I hope to see you there. I I follow TED talks a lot, right? Okay, and okay. Nice. You you have that caliber to be there, right? You make a name for yourself, and you go there. That would be amazing. That would be like a dream come true for me. Just pause oh, for your presentation. Yeah, I'm sure you can. I'm over the moon. Honestly. No, yeah, good, right? I want you to go there. Like, we don't have a lot of Indian speakers on TED Talk. I, as far as I have seen, True. most of them are from, them. right? So that being the case, make a name for yourself. Go, go with a rat to riches story, right? <laughs> and stay over there, and then I hope the best happens. Maybe right? if. if it starts a line i may be there <laughs> <laughs> let's let's hope for the best right do you have any other questions we have like uh, two minutes more by the way i don't have any question but i have you know hmm, i said that you are one of the best i think favorite one of the favorite tutor <laughs> on this platform and this is uh, the way you, you know the way you are speaking more. the way your voice modulation the way you are structuring words and accent is mind blowing <laughs> wow. uh-huh. now i i am over the moon because this is like your 232nd session so i'm sure you have met a lot of tutors right yeah. now yeah, yeah. this feels <laughs> really good but then yeah i told you each tutor is different i'm sure you will learn a lot more from them than you know the technicality of the language more but mm-hmm. again i have seen too much technicality i did i don't want to go there anymore I do not want to go with grammar at all. I was like, go with the basics. Just go with fluency. Go with confidence, and you'll be good to go. That's where I have come to. Yes, and one thing I have realized that when you speak, it matters a lot how confident you are, how conviction you have in yourself, what you say. If you speak, you know, flawless, there is no error in grammar, and you are not speaking with hair. Mm. You won't. no connect people people will no disconnect from your speech disconnect from your you know uh, uh, thoughts or or state but when you speak from here if you have 100% conviction what you are saying people will never take up their mind or their ear from your speech true and believe me you have that uh, in english technically you say you know the way you say what you say uh, mm-hmm. intonation you have that and not many speakers have those not many of my clients have it there are some who speak remarkably well they're mm. really good when they speak but they're monotonous they're like so today i had a great day everything was fine yeah. i was on top of the world i'm like okay dude you got to express yourself a lot more and you have those so i was like the moment i heard you i'm like okay that's good keep it up <laughs> like you have got that not men- english by itself is a very expressive language So mm-hmm. the more you're able to express yourself, the better. And you have that, which is why I'm like, I want to see you on TED Talk, right? <laughs> you have that. Keep it going, and work. Just work on. And then, uh, the English like it when we use idioms a lot. Maybe just brush up on your idioms. Try using mm-hmm. that. I I heard how you said over the moon things like that. It's good. Keep it up. Use it a lot more in your conversations. 
right? Yes. And then believe me, you'll have a great time. So yeah, <laughs> Deepak, I think more than you, I learned a lot today from you. <laughs> yes. I had a great time. It's so keep pleasure. it up and all the best. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for connecting with me today, Lali yeah. Man. Okay, and I'm wishing you have a blissful life ahead. Thank and you. And hope sure. we will connect you again in whenever I will find your session. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Thank you. Have a good time. Yeah. Bye bye.